in this worked example, we're going to look at how you calculate the temperature of something in space. So let's imagine that an evil empire has decided to build a spaceship which is capable of destroying whole planets. It's the size of a moon, so a radius of a thousand kilometers. And right now it's sitting a distance of two astronomical units from a star. has a luminosity of a little bit more than the Sun, 5 by 10 to the 26 watts. The question is, how hot is the surface of this spaceship going to be? Now there's a complication here. For something like the Earth, the, heat, the radiation in from the Sun equals the radiation out radiated from the surface. But the space station has huge numbers of fusion reactors inside to power its uh, life support systems, its guns, and its planet-busting weapon. And so the power output from inside here is a whopping 2 by 10 to the 15 watts. So that's going to affect the surface temperature. So how do we go about solving this problem? Well, we know that heat in must equal heat out to be in equilibrium. It can be out of balance for a little while, um, while something's heating up or cooling down, but too long and everyone will fry or freeze. So in equilibrium, they must balance. So what's the heat in? Well, we've got this amount of heat in coming from all those fusion reactors, and we've also got the uh, solar radiation hitting the surface. Let's assume the, all the radiation that hits it gets absorbed. So the flux is going to be the luminosity over 4 pi d squared. Right, this is d, an equation you're probably very fed up with by now. And what fraction that hits it? We have to look at the cross-sectional area. So the heat in equals the power plus the flux times the cross-sectional area, which is just pi r squared. Now the flux times pi r squared, uh, we've got the flux here, that comes out as 1.4 by 10 to the 15 watts plus 2 by 10 to the 15 watts, so that equals 3.4 by 10 to the 15 watts. That's the heat coming in. Now what's the heat going out? Heat out, we're going to assume the thing radiates like a black body. So the heat out is given by the Stefan Boltzmann equation, A sigma t to the fourth. Where A is the surface area. Surface area sphere is 4 pi r squared. Sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann constant, 6.67 by 10 to the minus 8. And t is the temperature. So set that equal to the heat in. So divide by A and sigma and take the fourth root, and you end up with the temperature, which comes out as 262 Kelvin. So it's pretty cold on the surface. That's uh, well below zero, but not incredibly cold. That's uh, what minus 11 degrees centigrade. So uh, cold, but not too frigid on the surface of this space station.